archaeologists. I'm... Pardon? Archaeologists is what I was trying to say there. Um, I'm having a ribbon. The sequel to Mist Adventure. Doing it live. Live on the internet. Uh, and I thought I'd start with this, this pool of water. We spent so much time here. We wasted so much time here. But, you know what? I think that's the way you're supposed to play, right? You're supposed to just pour hours into this. Nobody gets this first time. Maybe they do. I certainly didn't know. The reason I'm doing this preamble is to, uh... <laughs> to try and explain away my actions, my uh, foolish actions. Uh, which is to say, if we load up our game... I just looked the answers up. Uh... I was quite grumpy at the end of the last stream. Uh, it is no excuse. Uh, although I will tell you, I've genuinely had very little sleep in the last six months. I've had to call the council. Like, uh, I have to tell on my neighbours because they're creating like vibrations in my house. I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, it's been very weird. Anyway, uh, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. I did manage. Like, I managed to do. I, I, I deciphered the code, right? Uh, and I'm happy with that. And I did have a puzzle, even though there was somebody to help. And I did some of the stuff at the start. I just... This entire puzzle... There's a tap dripping. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop that tap from dripping. Um, give me a second. Yes. Um, I even... Like, I would never have found half the balls if there wasn't for somebody looking around. I was, like, re like that water place. I would have been there forever, I feel like, maybe. Perhaps. So, I mean, some gentle nudges uh, aren't exactly a bad thing. I'm going to make myself... Like, nah, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, anyway, but, like, once I was cooking, like, I didn't even find this bridge because I didn't think to press the button. I didn't see the button. But, hey, I think the main thing is, even with all the elements found, I just... Like, uh, like you can see, if you, if you look at... Go back to the machine, which shows these locations off. That it has these five by five grids. I was just being dumb, not noticing that. Uh, and I, I, I'll be honest, I just didn't associate the kind of the spinning things with what I was supposed to look at. But like, I, there's a logic here. There certainly is a logic for why everything exists. I get it all. Uh, I, I don't know how you're supposed to see the colors in a million years, but uh, I, let's say that you can. Right. So I cheated. I looked the answers up and. I've got a, I've got other games I want to play, but like I'm not proud, all right? I'm not proud, <laughs> but I won't pretend that I didn't look the answers up because I think that's much worse. Um, it's a sort of shame because I think, I think the the gentle nudging is probably the best way to play this. I'm not that's not a joke. It, I, it sounds like a joke, but like if you're willing to put in like a year coming back to this game, having a look around, that's probably the way to go about it, right? But like the second best way to go about it. If you're going to do it on stream, is to have somebody around that goes, ah, but are you looking close enough? Because that's like, there's an art to good hint giving as well. Where well, somebody can figure out the answers, ah, but what are you not thinking about? Because sometimes you just never, you'll never, ever, ever think of that. You go, like, oh, it makes sense, but I would just never have thought of that. Anyway. <laughs> doesn't really justify me looking the answers up, but I should also uh, finish the book. Is it wrong? That would be really funny if it was wrong. I mean, it appears to be wrong. I thought I looked the answers up. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. I wiped away all the uh, notes because I looked because <laughs> I cheated. Um, well, now I don't know what to do. Uh, I get well. I guess it's there, but I'll, I. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm like, do I just load and look? I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll load and look anyway, and then I'll just look the answers up again. Because what are you supposed to do, right? Show you what you're supposed to do. I mean, we did it before. I actually looked up what to do. But you can actually, like, this here is a massive clue. Right? I should have been looking between those two and going, oh, I see it's the same grid, you know? And it's that that we were looking for. We can sort of turn this around and say, oh, yeah, it's in there. Although getting the exact location of where that... Because it's not just in there, right? It's not just in here. Oh yeah, it is. What am I talking about? Yeah. It is just in a dot. There's that. Like... And those are clues as well, weren't they? You can like I can see now the hints it actually was giving me. I also think yeah, just don't play for five hours until you're just tired. Just sometimes just like with witness with the witness, what I'd do is I'd play for half an hour, and because I was trying to get witness videos out on the internet, I'd have to stop for twenty minutes between every episode to upload, and when I came back, I solved problems. But I'll be honest, the witness is a lot easier than this. Although I do remember somebody accused me of cheating on the witness because I would be stuck on a puzzle and then the next episode, oh, suddenly I know the answer. But it's like, no, I just had time to think. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, if I, like, I'll tell you if I look something up. Like, I don't want to convince anyone I'm the smartest person in the world. Because I'm not, I'm far from it. Like, clearly. There's people who did this game legitimately. Anyway. Let's say I just... I'm worried that I've not done something now. So, uh, let's have a look again. Uh... Okay, I'm trying to look up to see what I've done wrong. Blue there, green there, red there. Purple's in the wrong place. Okay. You know what? That is legitimately one I could have found out in the game. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't want to, alright? I just, I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm done with this puzzle. Uh, give me a second. You can't alt tab in this game, so I have to you know, click off screen and do that. Uh... Right. So it occurs to me I need to actually light myself a little bit. Uh, which is something I was, I don't know, I'm trying, to get, I'm trying not to do. Being a bit lazy, you know, sometimes. It'd be, it'd be like that. Um, so let's um, move my microphone a little bit closer as well to my face. So clonk, sorry about the clonky noises. Uh, and I think that's probably solved. Right, it doesn't matter so much that it's dark over there, but I can fix that if people really care. But like, yeah, there we go. Cool. I did something.
Let's have a travel around, see if we can figure out what we've done. Kind of remind ourselves of the uh, things. Loads of fun. Go bother some dinosaurs. Oh, you know what? I've just realised what I've done. So, uh, I did need to keep some of the codes. I probably wrote them down. Who in the book, John? Are they? No, they're not. So right, I was hoping I might just be able to remember that. Did I write it down? I've got two four four one written here. Oh, it is here. It is. So twenty four. 22, 17, 7. I was close. I feel like I was close. Hang on. 5, 10, 15, 22. I did this last time, didn't I? 20, it's 24 and 22. Seventeen. Seven and one.
save our game. I think the other thing is reading the books really important. Just to get a sense of what you're actually trying to achieve. So, I think this is what I'm supposed to do, but, um, because I achieved the thing, didn't I? But this game so too said I've solved the puzzle and I don't know what that's done. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are the worst because they force you to wait. I don't want to... I'm really bad at this kind of thing actually as well. I, I like doing a puzzle and then being like, well where does it naturally want me to walk? I guess the main island. I guess there's something that I haven't clicked on. I think I'm going there at some point. I think that's the island that you couldn't get the code for that you had to um, guess. I'm like, game, okay, I've solved the puzzle. What am I supposed to do? And, and thank you for following the giant, the uh, channel, Gamer Dragon X. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not the best example of somebody playing this game, but I appreciate your follow nonetheless. Right. Well, now I have to put extra effort in <laughs> to actually finding out what to do. Okay, let's. I'm pretty sure we solved it. Maybe it just needs to be down. Hmm. I wish you'd let you walk over there. Ooh, sorry, I'm reading your message. I'll be honest, I preferred Mist to this. This is a little bit too difficult for me, I think. Like, I uh, I kind of liked the Mist uh, sort of centralised locations. So you wouldn't be lost forever if you were just sort of a bit dumb about not finding certain things. But uh, I'm planning on playing all the rest. Uh, like, and I, I'm afraid, as I, I, I'm not sure if you're here for it, I looked up the answer to this. Because uh, I just, there was just some aspect of it I just wasn't getting. And I was very grumpy and I looked up the answer. Um, although saying that, I'm now stuck again. Uh, and this place is so big that if you're stuck... You could be stuck forever. But um, I, I outside of that, I really like this game. But like, I mean, also, it, it was like made 20 years ago. So I appreciate that uh, uh, we've, we've gotten better at, at certain aspects of telling these puzzles. But anyway, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, I've noticed that people who like uh, Riven do appreciate people playing it. Um, I believe... Uh, we're trying to get to that island. And uh, so we've got a couple of books. 
that require power. I thought this give the give the books power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my game. I'm going to put this into the correct place. Do this again. I'm going to keep the thing down. And maybe you assume that this is the on state and I need to not mess with it once it's in this position. The other thing I can look at is like see that spinning is see if anything else is going on inside here. But I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna hang on. He's the quickest way around is actually around from his room now, isn't it? How am I going this way? No, hang on. Get rid of that spam. A double spam. Never rains, but it pours. Uh, better ban you. Why free at once? There we go. Let's go back in the game. Uh, yes. Well, I want to use this way, don't I? Because this button can be skipped. Yes. What? When did I close this door? I never closed this door. It's a door of lies. Oh, but now I have to listen to this sound. Because I don't remember how to open the door. Hmm, alright, we'll go around the long way. Or we could just painstakingly, uh... Like that. Okay, that didn't actually take that much effort at all. Uh... Maybe that's the door I closed some for some reason? If we do it from here, you've got to listen to the sound. You can't skip the cutscene. I did figure the cipher out on my own, though. I want to know what I actually did. What have I achieved with this puzzle? It's humming. I don't think it was humming before. Assuming it's not quite on yet. Perhaps I've done not set this up properly. I can't get there because I moved with the ladder. Oh, I can just move back. You don't know how to get to that, but you can see the color 
Assuming that's yellow, that's so like, yeah, that that there. I don't actually know how you get there. Is this just a building again? Do intend to read this book at some point. I'll tr I will come back to this book. I'll just let it save. Um, oh, it's this. Oh my word! Of course. Yeah, okay, this one's at least viewable. Although that's again going by really fast, but you can at least infer it from these other shapes. I can see how I was supposed to do it now. Maybe this is a better view. Yeah. Are we just going the really long way around to places? Apparently. I need to do all this by myself. Yes, I was saying at the start, I think um, trying to like play this game for six hours straight is like probably not the ideal way to play it. Like, not on stream anyway, because you're just going to want answers. Uh, the sort of twitchiness kind of, you know, you want to. I, like, it's difficult to sort of present a game like this and be like <laughs> get nothing but walking around um way. light at the end of the tunnel. Where's my sound? Uh, the game's probably a little bit loud. I don't consider a Mr. Game that... Sorry, Riven a game that really makes noise, but it does occasionally. I might want to briefly fix that. Okay, no, we don't raise up. Now it's making no sound again. Uh, where do I want to go? Uh, I'll try this thing again. Right, figure out where it is. Now that the machine is down. Get over yourselves, dinosaurs. Not all about you. Also, you villagers. Yeah, I spent like... I'd solved this area and then spent like an additional couple of hours unsolving it because I took time off. Um, because it's easy to forget what you've done. What have I done? Yeah, I'm going to go up these trees again. Did I just... It's one of the ways. How am I not getting the right way every time? Okay, yeah. This... This is unforgivable. Four twenty-two. 
17, 7, 1. Okay, but it's got a sound attached, so I can't skip it. Home! Shit! Do I get to actually go to a new place? Because that's the best bit. That's the other thing I'd, I, uh, I liked about Myst. It's like, oh, you open books and you go to new worlds! And, like, the idea of this being this one connected world does make sense. It's clever. But, like, going to a new place is the most exciting bit. And when you're stuck on one, you can. Go, and I get it that you can use the roller coaster to go new places, but like, clearly all the puzzles are connected. And oh, Shit. Did I say my game? I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. I assume you've heard of me. Yes. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atris. It's just that... Well, I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks. No ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But I have changed. Be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honourable one. Oh well. Game of Dragon X. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I... It's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade anyone of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atris's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the fifth age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. Mm. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in 
I've not forgot you shot me. I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. Moiety, okay, that's how you pronounce that. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature, but I'd almost come to accept their presence. It seemed inevitable under the circumstances. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she'd become some sort of religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atrus desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. Hmm. Which brings me to the point of all of this. Mm hmm Can we change? The book you brought with you. You're very fortunate to have recovered it. If I may. Thank you. Be a trap. Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. <laughs> you may need some time to decide. That is reasonable. Until then. As a token of my good intentions, I will allow you free access to my linking books, crude though they may be, and to the rest of the Fifth Age. Please understand, there is nothing I want more than a chance to resolve matters between Atris and myself, especially in light of what has become of Catherine. But unless you are willing to demonstrate to me that your intentions are honorable, I cannot risk it. The sanctuary I've been writing for the Islanders is nearly complete. After all these years, it would be a shame if I were unable to finish it. The work I am doing is quite demanding. Please don't signal me unless you've decided to use the book. The switch will reset itself once you link from here. Cool. So I can't follow that. That was nice. Alright, let's save my game.
Oh, hang on, of course, yes. Not that one. That's in... Yeah. It's in the forest. We can access this one. Like, this is how we got in, isn't it? Also, I want to see these videos. Full motion video! Why does it say there's only one view? There should be at least two. This is the location I never got to go to, right? Yep. Won't go there just yet. Okay, I'm guessing I missed a button somewhere. And I was always supposed to be able to look at this. Yep, I just didn't see the button. That's funny. It's always been there. I've just been too dumb to see it. Maybe I did see it. But not in the last two streams I didn't. That's funny. Not the forest. Forest is definitely not one we need to see. Just double checking. I'm guessing it's the same for all of them, apart from the prison. I could have just got to them and I just didn't know how. Okay, so, let me just mentally, forest, it's in above, in the cartography, it's just around the corner, in the golden dome, it's down the lift, and in the, um, yeah, we've seen them all. Should we see what happens if we press the button?
So lift, forest, corner. What one am I missing? Lift, forest, corner. Um. Oh, and underground. Yeah. I've got to make sure I look, because there'll be a button that I miss. Okay. Oh, it's certainly a unique doorbell. We did read through all of this, didn't we? We know Atreus's tale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Catherine's book on the internet so I can read it because this is too hard. It's too difficult to read the writing. This was a poor idea, so I'm gonna let's look it up now. Moving. Catherine's book journal. Right, I'm just going to put a note that says uh, I can't see chat. Uh, I could put chat on the other screen. I kind of want to do this. I want to have it so I can... Uh, oh, hang on. I've got the wrong one selected. Right. Oh, I can't roll downwards. This, uh, it doesn't matter. I linked to Riven a week ago. Uh, the smell of the place overwhelmed me moments before I could see anything. With my sight only partially cleared, I stood motionless, peering ahead through a, a dim veil which was slowly lifting. There was a violent clang and bars appeared. I remembered breathing slowly and deeply, tasting the familiar Riven air, but not recognising a thing. I must have been hit with the dart right away. I thought it was an insect bite at first. I'm trying to remember it all, but it's difficult. Maybe it's because of the drug. There was a voice. A man I did not recognise stood before me, with an ease. Though he was wearing a denny dress, he seemed to be talking to me, but the poison was already taking effect. A shadow crept in and I fell asleep. There was... I'm just going to click this every so often. Uh, there were many voices. But I understood none of them, like hundreds of people whispering. I couldn't wake up. No matter, the dream did end. And now, to be here in Etty, at I, it's been so many years, I didn't realise how much I missed her, like a piece of me that I had forgotten I'd lost. She was beautiful, and so full of warmth, but the years have also left her with a wound which was not there when we were children. I do wish she was more interested. Uh, it seems like I'm asking all the questions. It's awkward. No one asks me where I've been or what I've been doing. This hurts. I understand it. But their beliefs are born out of ignorance and oppression. They are gentle people. But they've had their nest destroyed and now they frantically cling to anything that might save them. But why have they chosen? Why have they chosen to cling to me? So I need to change the page. I'm confused. As a child, okay. As a child, I always felt out of place here. I never belonged. They misunderstood me. 
I could never relate to them, but now I'm overwhelmed by an intense feeling that I owe everything to them, that this place I thought I would never see again, and yet uh, I've been given a second chance. A second chance at what? Saving them? Fulfilling their prophecies? Being their saviour? Uh, the moiety, Atrus, would want me to chronicle all that I've learned. Uh, Uh, I can at least record some of it. It seems that when Atrus and I trapped Gin on the river many years ago, in, in, on Riven many years ago, our uh, efforts were witnessed by the most of the inhabitants here. Two of the Rivenese even witnessed my confront confrontation with Gen at the fissure, when I linked back to Mist and where in Atrus threw himself into the abyss. Of course, they understood little of what they were seeing, but somehow were able to guess that we had won, that Gen was no god at all. But only a feeble impostor, a false god, who had trapped him here on Riven. I had always hoped that they would deduce this simple truth, but further conclusions have astonished me. Atrus had stripped Gen of his power, therefore Atrus must be a true god. As a god, he was choosing me, the spiritual misfit, from a Rivenese womb to be his wife. I was transcending into deity, and would lord over Riven forever. Thus the moiety, as they called themselves, were born, a dissident society, Sworn enemies of Gen. I would not know of their beliefs regarding Atrus and myself until two days ago. Atai was born, was for some reason hesitant to tell me. I don't know why I said was born. That it doesn't say that. Let's try and find where we are. Okay, so I'm actually reading faster. Okay. Because uh, I could just switch back and forth, right? Thus the moiety, as they call themselves, were born. A dissident society, sworn enemies of Gen. I did not know of their beliefs regarding Atrus and myself until two, sorry, uh, until two days ago. Of course, everyone assumed um, that I would be aware of my own god status. So they made no effort to inform me. I only realised it at recent gatherings to which I was invited. I sat in front of a dimly lit, crowded cave as they told a mythical story of my own life, acting out the battle between Atrus, myself, and Gen at the edge of the fissure. I should occasionally check to see if I do get comments during this bit. Uh, Okay, let me check very quickly. I have not, do I? Cool. Um, where am I? The events had been exaggerated into grandiose proportions. It was offensive, but I was unable to stop it. I was unable to break the illusions which was very the very foundation of their hope and purpose, and which has given them courage to band together and rebel against Gen. Since then I've learned of other doctrines and beliefs that have evolved, and most disturbing of which is the conviction that one day I would return to Riven to free them. Some believe. Wowie. Uh, uh, some believe I will overthrow Gen. Others believe that I will bring them to paradise. I do not know how to deal with this. I fight it with in myself. I love these people. My only real kindred. But they will not love me as an equal, which hurts me. I'd rather be their slave than their master. Over the years, Gin's power has become greater and greater. The Moriti's numbers have grown. They've become more and more adept at hiding themselves. Now they live in complex networks of caves that has still not he has still not discovered. The Moriti, for a part, have even completely severed their relationship with any Rivenese that chose against joining them. Okay, slave and master, and there's the symbol of the moiety. Uh, there we go, we're there. Uh, but I hope they've not sacrificed vital limbs in order to remove the cancer. Even father and Anant are still on the surface in Gen's domains. I long to see them, but the dimness shrouds Aeti's face every time I mention them. Since this break took place, they've been interfered with the surface in superficial ways, Occasionally sabotaging one of Gen's constructions, or stealing foods from the villagers. They wear strange masks and costumes during their short forays into the island's surface. They take this regalia 
very seriously, refusing to be seen by anyone outside the moiety unless they are properly attired. They get much pleasure out of the fact those on the surface are frightened by these costumes, calling them evil spirits or ghosts. Uh, it was one of these expeditions they fortuitously rescued me from one of Gen's guards. Fortuitously, Stuart Don. Fortuitously, there we go. Rescued me from one of the Gen's guards when I first appeared on the island. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have been delivered to Gen immediately. I've no doubt that he is now searching for me. Oh no, I'm still there, but we're about to change. Uh, so one thing I guess we're not really seeing is that she's writing this on different days because she doesn't uh, notate with a date. Okay. Of course, I was now aware that I was fooled. Atrus is not here. I was at first devastated by this realisation. Now I'm thankful. Would He would be in extreme peril here. Also, there is a quiet inner voice. Uh, inner voice. Uh, I'm just trying to find where I am. In a voice, an echoing remnant that wants him far away. Line. I have just witnessed an age dying, gasping its last breath. Today, I ventured to the surface to see what had become of this island. I hoped it would not be as bad as the moiety had reported. Uh, it was worse. They have become slowly accustomed to its steady decay, but I was devastated. The lips from which this kiss is wrought has fallen words which fall cold breath, the womb of from which the cry released a suffered hurt will suffer death. To get to the surface, we have to travel through a complex series of doors and passages. Before the last of these doors, they offered me a weapon, which I accepted, then a mask. I held the mask in my hands for a while, wondering what sort of terror it might invoke in the mem of those members of my family that still live on the surface. But I also know... I must keep my identity hidden from Gen's ever-vigilant eye, so I accepted it as well. And together we swam a short expanse and emerged out of the surface of the ocean and under a rocky overhang. The harsh sunlight made my eyes sting, but fresh, rich air was exhilarating uh, after these past weeks in the dank caves. Two men with me were silent. See you there. Most of this I can read, but just some of it I can't. It's just easier reading this. Communicating only in hand signals, the three of us emerged from our hiding place and made our way to the top of the plateau. At the edge of the thick, overgrown area of forest, they stopped, peered through the foliage for a moment, then turned to me as if waiting for my command. But I could not respond. In fact, I found it difficult to move. I was smelling, hearing, and breathing. My youth was swept over me in a matter of seconds, but in seconds more, all the feeling was gone. There was numbness. It's still quite a lot to read. Let's check the comments. We did not stay long on the surface, but it was okay. Places, uh, but it was long enough to see the worst. Riven, what? I could start a new sentence. <laughs> Riven, which was once one island, is split it apart into five dif distinct pieces, about a mile, half a mile apart. Four of these have been claimed by Gen as exclusive domain, only as ministers and personal militia ever ever allowed to access them. From my vantage point, at the edge of the forest, I could see three of these islands. They are stripped of their former beauty and riddled with Gen's self-absorbed constructions. Moiety rarely visit these closely guarded places. There is another island which I could not see, as it evidently crept away at a terrific distance. The Moiety are unclear. Guarded places, isn't it? Sorry. Unclear everywhere. Uh, Moiety unclear? Very unclear as to, as to what exists on this island, except for the fact that they know that it's where the great tree used to exist. The forest is located on the island that the surface dwellers and the Moiety still refer to as Riven, but they also still refer to their entire world as Riven. This island is where the village is, which has changed drastically. It is also one of the remaining provinces of the people. Though Gen's influence can be seen everywhere. 
die. Ooh. Of course, I know the reason for the fracturing of the island. The moment you do not, Gen wrote this place and it will die, as all of Gen's ages eventually die. I feel nothing today. I am nothing. I am in a cave on a dying world inhabiting by people that... They are treating me so strangely. They don't even know how to relate to a god. I'm still an outcast here. They whisper among themselves, talking of my bravery during my excursion to the surface, how I walked across the island, bold and unafraid. They do not know me. Even Ata is uncomfortable around me. Awkwardness. Uh, around me. Yeah, where are we? I'm looking on. Uh... <laughs> at times there is no awkwardness and I am only Katran to her but at other times I'm something else I'm afraid that such gaunt numbers inside me such gaunt numbness inside me today I feel closeness with my people neither am I offended by their worship of me I do not hate Gen I do not feel anything oh no where am I Uh. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? I just need to double check something. Um. Let's pause. That's why. Uh, when I've done this, I'll check out my brother playing Doge of Surplus. Um, oh, I'll have this as a separate page. That, that'll do it. Right, sorry. Uh, I'm not even sure of... Let's cross out, though. At least Nella is still close. I'm boiling, I am. Gen is... Uh, imprison him. Uh, Gen is making and writing books. I wish they told me sooner. Atrus should have realized this would happen, of course. Gin would have written all the materials ne necessary to the Dinin craft of making books into this age, and probably every other age he ever wrote. He's attempting to write his way out of here. We did not imprison him, we only delayed him. This age has become his factory, and the people his machines, all laboring in his mad pursuit to become a god, carry on his noble Dinin cause. So far, he's not been able to produce a fully functional book. Atrus never believed in a destiny, but I do not, not know what else to call it. It's too perfect, too much of a coincidence. They hang on my every word. They do, they do not understand them. I am their hope now that I've returned. Oh, sorry, I'm... Oh, we're right there. I, uh, I owe this to them. There was no choice. It is a long time since my last entry. Drew a picture. It's hard to recognize, but I found the star fissure. It's located on the island the Ribbonese called Alapo, meaning water pool, but which is referred to the, by the moiety as Al Alatuan, meaning pool of stars. Having once allowed Atris to escape the sage without leaving an open door behind, all oh, this is the bit I know, it has since been sealed with the skin of heavy iron. A crude telescope has been mounted over a locked viewpoint combination to which was acquired by the moiety before my arrival in the early days and there it is there's the code yeah that was embarrassing so i, got, I figured out the code because it says it here and then i just kept pressing those buttons so I, I i pressed the two button then the four button twice and then the one button twice and it's like No, 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 what was it? I was doing it wrong. I was doing it a really weird way. What was I doing? Was I pressing 24411? I can't remember how I was doing it wrong now because it now makes no sense in my head. Let's, um. Oh, let me think. What was I doing? Because it, like, to my, I was, I kept doing it, and I was like, it doesn't make any sense. I'm clicking the buttons, right? 
No, like... Oh, no, 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 no. So the code is... You can see the code here. It says 24411. So I was pressing that twice, that four times, that four times, that once, and that once. Well, I was supposed to go 24411. There's five buttons. There's not bloody eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buttons. Yeah, that was dumb of me. Anyway. Oh, has my screen been off all this time? Well, I've been reading it anyway, but... So we, we've... Uh, oh, I, was doing, I was showing the picture as well. It's because I can't see myself. Normally, I, I can't see the chat and I can't see myself. In the early days of the Moriarty, seeking an escape from Riven, uh, briefly... Uh, uh, briefly pursued the idea of reopening the fissure. They discovered a more small mechanical stop to prevent the skip from hitting the portal window. Ultimately, they decided against opening it. So this is the bit we know. Sorry, I'm going to now turn it off again because I've, I've got to turn the page every so often. But I will now remember to turn the thing back on. Right. I hate to think what would have happened to them uh, if they had not left it alone. I've instructed them to stay away from it. I'm almost certain that with the decayed state of the islands, opening the fissure now would be disastrous. Uh, I've heard that in the days immediately following uh, Gen's confinement on Riven, uh, he, he attempted to determine the facility of navigating the stars beneath the fissure. We had seen the Mr. Book fall from Atrus's hands into that very same space. To this end, he would have had people alleged transgressors of the law thrown into it so we could observe for their fate the telescope which still stands there is only built for these callous experiments right there it is said that they did not die but what became of them remains a mystery it appears that the limits of gen's optics prevented him from learning their fate so we fell through the fissure in the start of the mist game so maybe we were actually came from here we are i've looked it up we're known as the stranger uh it is said that they, yeah, uh, the star field beneath the fissure is not as it seems. It is a gentle space, as hospitable to life as a flowing river. This is how Atreus explained it after he'd fallen into it. But much more than we've never understood, uh, we've never been able to conclude upon its origin. The visions tell me that it was born out of the will of the Maker, perhaps some greater purpose that we cannot yet understand. I still remember Atreus's words from his journal. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. I continued falling into that starry expanse. That's what he wrote. That's what Atreus wrote. I neglected to mention it earlier. The unique shape of one of the daggers, which appears during our escape from Riven, the very dagger that stands vertically at the end of uh, Alta Tuan, has been adopted by the Mo Moiety as the symbol of their cause. It is a symbol for them. It is a representation of all their doctrine and their representation of me. To deface this symbol is sacrilege. Uh, I don't know where we are now. They have their own mythical explanation regarding the sudden its sudden origins. Uh, I haven't told them that I wrote it into this age, along with all the other daggers. It's it's strange. There's a lot of writing in this goddamn book. I'm more awake now, so that's better. But still. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some puzzling after we read this. We will read Gen's book as well. Um, it is strange how such a young religion can be so unbending, even to their own god. I, I've tried to dissuade them from the notion of that symbols contain so much power. Uh, the enemy uses this paranoia against them. They are fearful of Gen's symbol, and they are terrorized by symbolic use of the wark. Uh... Some. Uh, but they don't want to hear this from me. Perhaps my attempts have been caused some of the younger members of the moiety to doubt that I'm that I am Catherine. My rare encounters with those who say follow they follow Gen have been discouraging. They've uh, they've hoped to have some communication with the surface villagers, but they always flee from me. I have heard news that some of the villagers uh, existence. Okay, some of the villagers. Uh, beliefs regarding Gen. Soon after we trapped Gen on Riven, he claimed that he was responsible for the daggers, placing them around the islands as a reminder of their failure. 
in the village it circles in village circles it is told that this was a punitive act performed by Gen to mark the beginning of the period of restitution uh, at the end of which they have proven their devotion to him they will be delivered unto a new and better existence I will try to reach them the door is open Gen is free Gen has the ability to create working books and facts he has written one age before I have arrived, but he has kept this accomplishment so hidden that only his closest ministers were, uh, were aware until now. I'm not sure, perhaps he's written others. Other news, a few years ago, before the moiety were forced into hiding, one of them managed to steal what appeared to be a test book again it had intended to destroy, but it's been partially written, but did not work. Proceeded to. Um, I'm not sure, but perhaps he has written others. Sorry. Uh... They didn't tell me about it in yeah. They didn't tell me about it until now because they thought it was useless. Back then none of Gen's books worked, but instead of correcting the problem at its source, he blended it on impure wood of the Riven Forest and proceeded to do something. Oh, you know what he proceeded to do? Let's check uh, for comments. Uh, well, I'll tell you what he proceeded to do, shall I? Well, he proceeded to engineer a cumbersome mechanical remedy, a complex series of domes to heal his book's inherent flaws. You know what? I should have read this, shouldn't I? Because then I would have known the dome. This could, like, part of me dumb being dumb is my fault, is my impatience of playing this game. But, like, this is really difficult to read. <laughs> this writing. But I could have just done what I'm doing now and just read it on the computer, couldn't I? To sort of embrace that this is how Riven wants to tell its story. Uh, cause it, and yeah, I could read it in bits, but well, it's fine. Uh, at last he'd finished his work. Uh, sorry. Uh, domes to match. Okay, yeah. He, one of the consequences of this crude solution, however, was that the domes demanded huge amounts of energy, and the problems related... Uh, Related problems delayed his success for quite some time. At last, however, he finished his work and was able to link to an age, but he kept his success extremely well hidden. Um, however, for some reason or another, belligerent pride, he's made modifications to the domes that makes it obvious he's using the dome to breathe life into his half-dead books. Perhaps he means to lure us into using the books in the domes. He can't believe... We would blindly swallow this suicidal bait, but he wouldn't know that we have one of his books, a stolen burnt book. There is a possibility of. Have read burnt book. Age it describes would be unsuitable as new home for the moiety, but it be modified. I will dream. I have requested a group uh, to solve combinations that will open the domes. Once we once open, we can power the burnt book. Do not think again will interfere. We will leave the bait. Uh, have begun writing... Okay, so that's why he caught me, because I took the bait instead. Have begun writing the Moiety Age. Um, now must acquire a second book from Gen. There is tension. Uh, a stain that blurs my vision and nightmares. Nella and Eddie, stay close. Much has happened. Uh, almost everything is prepared. We've stolen an another book, but I'm concerned. Gen will miss it. We have also discovered the combinations for entering the domes, but we've not discovered the method for powering them. Bloody hell, lady, the method for powering them is hella convoluted, let me tell you. Right, where are we? Therefore, we can only use... Are we past this? No, 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 no. By powering... We're here. By powering our burnt book of Gin's domes, we'll be able to link to this age. But we will only be able to access the domes for a short time before we are discovered. Therefore, we can only use the domes once. Uh, once. Where am I? I must find another way to make the books work. Wait here, age. Uh, in the gateway images in Gen Gen's books and our burnt books all seem to share the same sickness. If they are not powered, the images are black. It might be possible to clear the vision with only... 
will invite substance into the mighty age. And look, now I recognise those are the grids. Okay, so that's the black book. I don't know what that is still. Is it the opening and closing eye? There's an eye there. That's the book, isn't it? And there's the grid. Hmm. All is ready. Now all we can do is wait for the word from the Moyota-esque, Moyota -esque, who are on the lookout for Gin to power and use the domes. When he does that, we will have access to one of Gen's domes just long enough. After linking, Riven would have. After linking, after linking to an age which I've written, I can only locate the book window substance or refine or adapt it. Laying this window over the gateway image should heal the books, and make them work. Hang on, that is uh, that's useful, isn't it? A window substance. So allow me to use the stolen book and return to Riven with more book windows. We'll no longer have to rely on Gen's clumsy domes. I laugh at these plans. They sound like Atrus. There we are. I'm risking my life, but I feel no fear, only anxiety. Uh, perhaps it is the source of my nightmares, the fissure, like a great wound. If it opened, it stains riven soils with blood. I hold the mighty knife. Uh, the voices grow so loud. For their part, the moiety have complete faith that I will accomplish my task and lead them to a better world. It is the fulfilment of their prophecy, but they are also fearful and tense. I do not know what they will think if I fail. It is done! It seems too good to be true. It's, I feel like it's still a dream. We've evacuated all the moiety into this new age. Well, that's nice. We briefly visited, didn't we? No, that had a tree. That was something else. It is beautiful, and I am pleased. At last, my people will live in safety and comfort. We stand under the bare sky. They are happy. I believe they've named it Tay, but let's double check. Oops. There's a... Well, I guess it's a fitting picture, but... I was going to show you Riven instead. Uh... Oh, almost done. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, you know, I said that already, didn't I? They, uh, they stand under the bare sky, unafraid and dazzled by their freedom. They are happy. They've named it Tay. There is still much to be done. Uh, we are not protected yet. The only way to completely safeguard this place is to destroy the book which links from here from Riven. But I do not know how to bring this up to the moiety. They'll be extremely reluctant about their destroying their only link to Riven. I share this hesitation. I'd be cutting off my only connection, but for their sake it must be done. I'm anxious to know if our activities have aroused against suspicion. If so, we must act quickly. Even so, I feel now that we are impregnable. Tomorrow, I will return to Riven and see Gen's reaction for myself. But tonight, we rest. Okay, so... We are done. Can I just click on that? Okay. And uh, there was the note earlier. Which the game puts as a separate thing, even though you have to do it in the correct order anyway. Kind of weird. That did not give me the combination to the door. Yeah, that was quite long. So I write to you from my quickly. I write quickly from my prison. Nella will return your book, which the Moiety intercepted upon your arrival. After questioning her, I concluded that it was written by Atrus for a very specific purpose. Glenn will desire to use it, although he may have suspicions. If you find my prison, you will need to s combination to release me. Ken keeps it in his office. Then I assume we are to signal Atrus. I think I know how it might be done. But don't signal him before I am released. Catherine. Is this the prison? Well then, let's save our game. Hang on, first things first. Uh, let's actually close this for the time being. Oh, actually, we'll put it there. And actually, uh, put our put our faces back. Oh, hang on. That's annoying. Um, 
So I, for all this time, I was supposed to have this thing up. <laughs> uh, I, uh, uh, is it even in this? This, I was supposed to have this up. But now I realise I'm going to need a second one of those. It's, it's on the wrong side. I need a can't see chat on the other side. Oh well, I was supposed to have that up. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. Uh, especially since we have a viewer now. Um, a lurker. Hello, lurker. I'm going to try and figure out the code to this. So, hang on. Let's write down these um, sounds. And look. Uh, a a self-contained puzzle. That not that nice. Click. Nah, I'm going to call it tick. Tick. Just writing things down. Uh, uh, Dulling. Uh, Dulling. What does that mean, John? Dulling. How do I write that noise down? Muted bell. And this is ding. Cool. Let's save our game. Um, it's a prison, isn't it? Lock. Then load. Uh, yes, I'm afraid I just looked the answer up. Uh, let's load the workshop. Uh, I only read half of this, didn't I? We'll... I'll read the rest of that soon. We just read a lot. I'm looking for anything that makes a noise in here. Oh, it's the burnt book. Ah, let me take a whiff. We should keep that. We don't pick things up. Yeah, okay, don't press on the prison, John. Egg. Delicious egg. Uh, we can make ourselves some coffee. Hmm. Pressing books, John. Well, it might be in his book. We'll check the book. Dome code. It's moiety symbol. Denise, Denise. Hmm. Not seeing a code, but like it's going to be noises, isn't it? Oh, 
Mike's noise. What are we missing? Hmm. Maybe it's two, four, four. No, it, there's only three things, John. And it sounds. It's clearly sounds, so I have to associate the sounds with something else. It's going to be levels of a... Oh, crap. I always fucking turn the sound. Sorry, I didn't realise the screen was off. Ugh. That's probably why the lurker went away. Because I was looking at nothing. I need to stop doing that. Well, I've not even been... How long have I been off? I wasn't reading the book for ages. So I've been looking around this workshop. Seeing if I can find anything that makes noises. Let me think. Are there any... Are there, they're all bell noises, aren't they? Hang on, why did I write that coat down? No, it's a tick. Muted bell. And a ding. That's the prison. Hmm. Why did I think it was going to be easy? Okay, so Catherine, I'll, I'll let's. We know where this game is. We'll have a look again. See if there's any more clues I'm missing. He likes fives. Oh, I didn't see that. Never mind. Uh, there wasn't a puzzle. There's a puzzle there, but I don't know. Maybe the answer's up here. Cool, I'm glad I loaded this up. Also, I'm glad I'm showing the screen now. Again, Atris sent you to save me. But if Gen gets back to Dunny, he'll kill him. I think I know how to signal Atris, but it's going to take both of us. You'll have to trap Gen before you can get the combination. Be careful. Go then. If you won't help me, then I have nothing more to say. Cool. That's explicit instructions. Very out of character for this game. Yeah, sorry, I cut myself off there because I thought I was being a bit um, cynical, but... Uh, am I? She wants me to trap Gen. Yeah, 
You know what? His workshop might not be his old workshop. It might be his new workshop. I'm going to assume that doesn't work. Um, so, uh, what's this? No. I need to make sure because I keep missing buttons. But no. We're going to have to go back to his place. Let's save our game because we did actually. Oh, yeah. Meet Kathy. Twenty-four. I might be just putting myself in prison, but we'll see what happens. I'm relieved you've returned. I thought perhaps you had decided against it. Here, I shall follow you directly. Won't he immediately release me if he does that? No, because he can see it's a prison. Oh no, Kenny. Or have we trapped him? Or did he just cover me up? Yeah! Haha! <laughs> Fuck you again! Yeah! I did the, did the thing. Like, I think I just would have liked Riven a lot more if it was paced a bit more. Just a little bit more. As well. Uh, anyway, I'm because I'm a. I'm, uh, fuck you again. Right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make myself a drink. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. God, it's been two hours. <laughs> I must have been reading for goddamn ages. I was like, yeah, I'll just quickly finish off Riven. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make myself a drink. Right, let's save our game. Oh, we did. It was good. Fuck you again. Uh, let's uh, immediately free him. Oh no, that's a broken book. Okay. Hmm. So it's his work. This is his workshop, though. Looks like a bell. I've still got to free her, right? Or is it just that she's trapped now? Oh, I can free her with this. Now, hang on. Is this the same thing? 
Well, I can now travel around with the ladies. The square turns up. Tagamem San Potegan Shem. Pasit. Yes, um. All that and a bag of chips. There's her. Again. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> More reading. Okay. Yay. Well, this one I can figure out. Am I going to explode now? One, two, two, three, three. Lovely. Now I've got to listen to it ticking for a while. Ah. Uh, because it, it just means I have to read that book, right? Because it's going to be important. No idea what this does. Okay, we're going to save our game here so I can just access this book. Curious as to what this did. Right, we've saved our game, we'll save it again. And we're gonna load up, I'm afraid we're just gonna read more book, but I'll read it on the screen this time so I don't accidentally turn off the screen every time. Okay, I caught one of my assistants look at the journal today. I'm glad I had it cho I had chosen to write it in the language that they cannot decipher. Note, discuss security with each guild master. No problems expected from the maintenance, uh, maintenance, education, and surveyors. Question the bookmakers and the builders more closely. Uh, today I had learned several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. Oh, now I know what the spirits are. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels, or the black moiety, as the villagers uh, obstinately insist on referring to them, have attained a new level of sophistication in their terror tactics, they have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers to joining them, uh, playing upon their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly susceptible to the, this form of cohesion, especially given uh, of late the rebels' unceasing acts of uh, vandalization and theft. 
The Eitram traps have been steadily fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not been uh, adversely affected by the subterranean ecosystems. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similarly generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract for my pipe. One that is smoother than... Okay, so we've read some of this before. I don't know which page we've got to, so we're just going to keep reading. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that is unlike anything I've encountered on the islands. It appears they have access to a resource which I'm unaware, perhaps a mine on an uncharted island. Note, most of the knives have been found in the south side of the village. This is the same area as which uh, there have been reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I think closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact they have these distinctive knives as a sign of their presence concerns me. They've grown more bold and seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. Hmm. So much reading, but I'm going to have to do it because I'm going to finish this game, right? Uh... I might use <laughs> now. I want to read. It's still not easy to read. The latest measurements indicate that, that the recent trend has continued. Movements of the islands have slowed tremendously. My previous estimates predicted total collapse in approximately three months, but with the new figures, I am uncertain. I've certainly finished writing the new age, and I have every faith that it will indeed be a safe place for us to relocate to. Yet it would be helpful to know what he's caused. What has caused the halt in the ages breakup? It is possible that it's stable after all. Uh, if so, I must discover that how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of that age have thus far proven inconclusive. And then I accidentally closed the book because. Yes. Uh, or perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would. Almost certainly be Atreus's doing. I've reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behaviour of the water of this age, as there is more pressing matters on which I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For future reference, however, my investigations up to this point have revealed the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the water to be caused by the life form that resides in it, specifically the type of bacteria. I'm imagining uh, um, uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, motile? A unicular organism, but one with structures capable of holding bits of water. This combined effect uh, via surface tension, stronger force, causes the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Ah, oh, that's how he's been doing all the water tricks. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example, a period of extended boiling, seems to kill the bacteria, which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested. I remain ignorant both of the deeper m meaning, what? Nature. That's an, that's an N then. No, it, no, it's not. Yeah, that's an M. Motile. Mottle. And its possible uses. An exciting, exciting development. Last night, a squad of maintenance stumbled upon a lone rebel scout and obtained him a, a, a most incredible device. It is a crystal that somehow powers the flawed linking books, much as my own system does, but with an obvious advantage. It is small and weighs only a few pounds, making it completely uh, portable. Catherine must have fabricated the device before capturing, uh, before I captured her. Obviously, with the explicit Denis schematic as she must have uh, brought with her to this age. If only I had access to such a document all these years. Regardless, I now can concentrate solely on the writing of the ages and need, need no longer to worry about building elaborate power supplies for which new book I'd write. This is uh, a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek uh, an avenue to Denis for gaining access to the resources. Uh, they may be crucial to the completion of m my mission. There we go. We've read that book. We're now going to meet Catherine. We're going to load the game and meet Catherine. Uh, this one here. We're going to read that new book as well, but we're going to meet Catherine first. Um, uh, 
So yeah, it wasn't a moiety island, it was a prison island. Um, I'm going to do this first. I do know the code, but... I figure I'll see new dialogue. No, never mind. Dinny, dinny. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to try and get the book, but... Here it is. Uh, prison. So I want to let him. I want to free him. I don't know exactly why you released me, but you realize, of course, that this must be the end for you. I can't take the chance that you change your mind again. It may provide you with some solace, however, to know that with this act of self-sacrifice, you have secured your place in history. The Dali culture will be reborn. The lives of millions will be purified. Thanks to you. Farewell. There you go, I wanted the bad ending. Anyway, we're gonna have to turn the game off, aren't we? Load up again. Lovely. Self-contained puzzles that are solvable. This is exciting. I'm still going to have to read a goddamn book, but... Still his followers. I'm not sure what they'll do once they realize he's gone. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget the portal combinations in my journal. Good luck. Oh, I, I know the portal combination. Look, I heard telling me what to do. Clear instructions. Wonderful. And of course, I've already solved the Fisher puzzle. That I did do. I was going to say... No, I didn't do that on my own. I figured out everything, but I just was really dumbly doing it in the wrong way. I can't click the screen, by the way. Otherwise, I would be. Game, do you want me to do stuff? And there the stranger stood forevermore. Okay, um, that was weird. Uh,
Come on, skip this one. cage again. Kind of weird. Uh, luckily I put it like I said, because now I can't turn that off. Where's the quickest way out? Uh, what's the, the main island is? This fucking lift. This lift that I never saw. Why did she want to give me the combination? I should stand back. That's what it looks like when someone goes in. This is where our past was fought. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. You know where to find them. Goodbye, my friend. Why can't I come with you, dickhead? I know it's a gentle river. You prick. Now I understand. Endings and beginnings are within the fissure. That riven cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge. And though I am unable to understand how, flow of stars that brought my miss book into worthy hands I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend yeah I'm sure the age of ribbon is closed forever but the people of ribbon are free and now I am at rest understanding that in books and ages and life the ending can never truly be written cool okay so that's why it's called ribbon at least Alright, and I did, I did enjoy the ending, I know, it took me longer than I thought it was, even though it was quite simple. Uh, we are still going to read, I don't think there's going to be like a secret ending or anything like that, but I do have to read the book, and then I'm going to let you go. 
then I don't know when I'm going to play the next game. I am going to get the next game. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale, I think, because I've got a lot of things I want to play. But, like, I'm really glad I went out of my way to play Ribbon. I know I was really grumpy. And I know I cheated. <laughs> but I am actually glad I played it. I am actually going to continue. I'm hoping, because this is the hardest one, right? So I'm hoping the others are kind of more my pace. But, um... I think playing until I'm just dead tired just probably wasn't a good idea at all. Uh... I, th I think I preferred Mist, I'm afraid. I know everyone like this is the one that everyone likes the best. I like, because Mist introduces the idea, but I just like the different worlds. Um, I think I like cutting it down like that is a really neat way of doing it. And have it being this massive like thing is just so intimidating, it's so easy to get lost. Especially when you're stuck behind a button, like a button that you just wouldn't have found. But, um, clearly people did, right? I, people have done this game in earnest without cheating. Uh, and props to them, god damn. Because that's going to take... You're going to be pretty clever. Because a lot of those puzzles required, like, four levels of abstraction, which is a lot to ask of someone. I think it was five, like, god damn. Uh, but, like, it's really easy just to not click on something. And I think that's my main issue. Not that the puzzle was too hard. I was just too impatient to do it, right? But, like, I am never 100% knew that I had all the elements in front of me. I know. Just give me the goddamn elements. Put, like, a shiny thing on to tell me that I've got a door or a button. Because I really like having that door or button. <laughs> like, and I really also... I like knowing the puzzle that I'm solving. Um, and, yes... I reading the books would have helped me massively, right? Because it would have at least given me instructions. Oh, there's this. But it's just so easy to miss the context of what the hell you're doing. Especially if you take, like, a year break, which I did. This officially took me a year to complete, but, like, it's because I took breaks. But, um, yeah, I would have liked to have, like, that room with the animals would have been great if I found that room immediately. And then I knew from the island, oh, I'm trying to solve the animals. So I'm going to be looking for animals and animal noises and seeing how they... Connect. Like with the marble, I did know that. I just... My brain wasn't working. But anyway, I, I thought I'd let the credit screen actually roll because we have finished the game. But we are going to load up the game to read that final book. Because that's the content, right? So let's read the final book and then I can let you go. You might be able to hear wee wee wee. <laughs> so this is Atris's handwriting. I start this latest journal with an astounding news. Catherine has returned to the fifth age, and through it, uh, sets my teeth on edge to say it. She has vanished as quickly as she appeared, stolen from me by the rebels. As my guard tells it, she's linked into the Fisher Plateau cage. As I'd guessed when suddenly he was set upon by the band of rebels who darted him and spirited her away. I suspect that the truth of the matter was that he was so dumbfounded at actually witnessing someone link in after all this time that he presented when he presented an easy target for whichever rebel had happened by at that moment. The damnable luck of it, he did yet a good, good enough he did get a good enough look at her, though, to, verily, to verify that it was indeed Catherine. He also claims that he impacted, inspected all of her belongings and found no linking book on a person. Fact which, if true, makes the question of why she's returned all the more puzzling. I still don't know who this book this is. While I am st uh, sick with frustration at having lost the only quarry that Cage... Has even caught. Oh, I see. This is this is this is not Atrus. This is again. So yeah, because when I got linked in, I was in a prison. Uh, as well as those two rebels I freed. The two rebels didn't kidnap me. They took me to Catherine. No, they took me to someone to pass me Catherine's book. 
and they didn't really want me walking about because they're super suspicious superstitious lot anyway um my only quarry that cage has ever caught i am filled with hope that she may provide me with the way back to denis it is time that i have managed despite overwhelming odds to break free of the confines of the fifth age resume my mission to save my culture from extinction but i am i fear that unless i am able to regain access to the vast resource that lie in the city's ruins the task of reconstructing that great civilization will be impossible if Catherine did bring a linking book with her then i am halfway there if not then she is trapped in the fifth age and i can assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her either way it is crucial to my plans that i find her soon her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously i should never have permitted them to survive this long uh once again the great Wask, Wask, has demonstrated its usefulness to me. The past week, the villagers have been most difficult to manage. Apparently, they have learned of Catherine's arrival, and their and their fear of this mythic beast has been uh, has all that's kept them in line. Uh, had I known how truly useful these prodigious prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have perhaps captured more of them while the local population was still plentiful. Although, to be sure, if these disturbances disturb my current pets, will be in dangers of perishing for lack of nourishment. So he does consider them pets. Um, this book is probably to tell you that he's a terrible person and not to trust him. I imagine. The search for Catherine continues. Da, 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 da. Okay. I now deeply regret uh, my mistake of having even taught these primitive people anything at all about these books. It seems that with each passing day, I more sorely realise that the extent to which they were not ready for that knowledge, not even in the simplified manner in which I had presented it to them. Their minds adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, were incapable of comprehending the art in all of its complexity, and thus were unable to extract the essential underlying principles that are ironically so elegantly simple. It is obvious. He, like, he's, he's wrong. Uh, much of the discord uh, that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the full meaning of the information I gave them. If they'd been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of that future I had planned for them, then this conflict would not exist. The minds of the children are much more malle malleable with the proper instruction. They've developed a more appropriate uh, posture towards the culture that gave them their lives. At the time they take it as a, times they take it almost as if they had a bit of Denis blood in them. Given the, the na natives' inborn limitations, however, I'm quite careful uh, uh, that none gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against the future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could contain such knowledge responsibility responsibly when it was got quite clear that my own son could not. Atreus still he, he remains one of the greatest disappointments of my life. I should never have left him with my mother. <gasps> A new character. By the time this extended family, like about the time I'd uh, returned for him, he had already poisoned as to all the thoughts of the Denis. Perhaps it was only way that she could uh, rationalise the fact that she had been responsible for the collapse of this civilization. So much destruction. So many great lives lost. The guilt must have been unbearable. I do have vague recollections of the love that she had for my father and for the... for... Uh, I don't know what that says. For wood. For there. Uh, but ultimately, she was an outsider whose ignorance of the Denis became a catalyst for their demise. Sorry, this is going to get cold. Uh, if I am able to rebuild our culture uh, and in the process connect with crucial weaknesses, then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary in in under what in order that a new era of prosperity might someday come to pass. These last few weeks, I found myself frequently beset by images from the past. I stood in the schoolroom today. I was reminded of my own childhood, the years I spent in the Bookmakers Guild, father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments, these he was 
he was an important man, but the Denis in the Denis world, but I can't bear to think of him for too long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. I got her. Late last night I received word that Catherine was in the village attempting to persuade the people to join her. I lost uh, two good men in the process, but I would have paid a hundred times that number for such a price. She's been taken to the prison island, where I've been attempting to gain some insight as to the reason for her presence here. I've had to uh, fight uh, all but the constant impulse to put her on the gallows. She's adopted the most infuriating stance of only answering my questions when she answers them at all. What? In her native tongue, sorry. That, that yeah. Even so, she is a poor liar. I am now uh, quite certain that her return to Riven was unintentional and that she bought, the linking, bought no linking book of her. As far as her unwillingness to share with me the location of the moiety, we shall see. Without their leader. So the first puzzle of the game was all just about accessing the moiety. I get that now. Like, and the moi like the moiety are considerably more sophisticated than he thinks they are. Uh, hence that ball he keeps. Uh, without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, and Atreus is bound to come for her, that is a given. The question I must now consider is, how will he do it? It is likely that his hesitation has been due, at least in past, to this dilemma. One way or another, though, he'll have to f bring a linking book to get back to Denis. There is no other way. It's late and I cannot sleep. I've li lost so much in my life. My people, my father, my son, and you, my wife, Keta. You are the only... Okay, so that's the woman in the picture. Uh, you are the only true kindness I've ever known watching you flicker there in the images. Sometimes wonder if you were real. I could... If I could restore your life with my pen... I would do so in an instant and leave the rest of it, the world, their own wretched fate. Oh, damn these savages! No, I take I immediately take that back. Uh, I, uh, I would be well advised to leave them in all in the fifth age and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. A, str a stranger arrived in Riven with a linking book to Denis. Once again, my useless minion was overtaken by the rebels. What? Oh yeah, I forgot about that start. From what I could uh, decipher from his muddled explanation, apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage has been damaged, but it is no matter. Uh, everything I need is here now. Atreus is certainly behind this, yet how could he be so foolish as to send someone here with a linking book? Such a blatant, such blatancy is unlike him. Could it be that he has had a change of heart after all these years? Is he finally letting his poor old father go? No. He's only after one thing. Perhaps he should find her. For now, I need only to wait and observe. And there we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. There we go. Now we get to see his wife. And uh, we'll leave it on this image here. As I say, thank you for watching. That I've been John Proxy. That I've been having a Riven adventure. The sequel to Mist. And I will return in the next game. Which I've forgotten the name of. Uh, is it Exodus? And hopefully. I think it's like people probably consider that game too easy. I think. But we'll see. We'll see if it's too easy for me. Uh, I'm not betting <laughs> on too easy. But yeah. I'm I did it. And I only cheated goddamn loads. <laughs>